Okay, hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to my reaction to Attack on Titan, the final season, part 2, episode 2. So I'm watching it, yay, today on Sunday, I my electricity is not off, so I don't have to uh, record it the day after. Um, but before I get into my reaction, I just want to let you guys know that there was some comments from last week, um, specifically one comment that was too long for me to reply to just in the chat in the in the comment section so i'm going to i did add my reply in my notes attack on titan notes link in description um but i will read the response if you don't want to read it and you want to listen to it like a podcast i will read it through that my, my response to that comment and some others um, in the review video. So I will be doing a separate review video today. So after the reaction, I'm immediately gonna, not immediately, but I'll end my reaction and then do the score of the episode plus the addressing last week's comments, some of them, plus the review of this episode. It will be in a separate video. It should be posted one hour after this video um, because I can't post two videos soon after each other since um uh youtube doesn't send out an send out a notification if i do that only like one hour after i believe so yeah I, i'll still probably make the review available as an unlisted video in the in the description where oh okay stop sorry um, so I'll still make the review available as an unlisted video, but I'll only publish it one hour after, but you can still go watch it if you finish the reaction. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a really good week. I'm looking forward to today's episode. As always, I'm a bit nervous because I just, I just know I have like kind of not the most, how do you say, what is the opposite of controversial? I don't know, but I have pretty controversial opinions, it feels like. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I was a little bit nervous because of the amount of people that da, 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 but I did my best last week to last week to respond to everyone's comments or make sure that I read them, add them to my notes where I thought relevant, you know, if it's something that I want to discuss at more length. Um, there's one thing that I remember. Okay. But anyway, I'll, I'll talk about that in the review. Let's go reaction time. I hope you enjoyed the episode obviously watching it on Crunchyroll. Um, last week I tried to watch on Crunchyroll, but it buffered for me. And at the Crunchyroll has been buffering, honestly, for months. I can't watch any anime. Um, but I still pay for it. I just can't watch there because it's very annoying to watch a show when it's buffering the whole time. So, but make sure that you support um, legal streaming sites. Uh, I have one of the manga, Attack on Titan manga. It was a gift to me from my friend Cherry. She also sent me the, like the first, she sent the first five volumes, but only the, the fifth one arrived. So I'm going to see if I can get the others. I do try and support um, anime and manga by, by, you know, subscribing to legal sites, buying manga where possible. It's a bit difficult in South Africa, but I try. Um, so yeah, make sure you do the same because obviously... <sighs> That's the good thing to do. Okay, let's go. もう帰ってもいいんやろ。すみません。もう少しだけ待ってあげてください。俺は君に兵の時から奴は危険だと言ってきた。エレンはみんなを地獄に導く。<笑> I relate to them. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I kind of um, understand where Armin is coming from with um, saying that it's not like Eren because you know Eren's all about freedom so how could that is totally antithetical to 
what he's doing now and the Zeke's plan and everything. I hope I use that word right. Um, so I, I, I understand though where Armin is coming from, but I, I feel the other two more, more, like I relate to them more. Like I just want to punch his face. <laughs> The OST is like... Godly voice acting. Yoku Shitori de Toretana Eren Atoa Oni Chan ni Makasaro. Eh, Oni Chan. Um, about the opening, you know, how the poll went, so I'm still not going to watch it. But I did actually react to the ending. It just got cut out for copyright. Um, I didn't realize that at first. So I will put the link to my uh, my reaction to the ending in the description or in my notes somewhere. I'll, I'll share there so you can go watch it. Um, the only problem is I think that the ending is more spoiled. I don't know what happened in the opening, but I think the ending, like... The ending of the ending song, uh, if you guys were worried about it, everyone's like, spoiling, spoiling, spoiling. So, I think if I'm correct, and I don't know, the ending song could be very spoilery. And if, if people are worried about that spoiler being revealed in the opening, well, then I think that the ending already spoiled me. But I can't be sure, so I'll have to ask my mods, and then maybe next week I'll just react to the opening if I was right about what I'm thinking, or... Let's put it this way. If I'm right about what I think people are worried about... I don't know how to say it. But, yeah. I think the ending is spoilery too, if I'm correct about what it's spoiling. Let me just put it that way. Um, so part of me wants to just react to the opening, but I will skip it today. 6.52... minutes. Deception. Ho oh, ho. Episode title is Deception. Let's quote. A worrisome word. ま、<笑> 
プロの腕章をつけていない者が優先して装備せよまんまと敵の策にかかったのみすけどもはわしに続け前線で侵略者を迎え撃つおお嬉しいですまた同じ志を持ってあなたと一緒に戦えるなんてそうそのマフラー置いていくんですかOh, that's some big ass、uh, character development right there.、Um, I was gonna say that I think so far Reiner's character development is my favorite in the show, but that was big. It's so, so subtle, but so big. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Holy fuck. Eren to Jiko, Tasket. Holy f- What? The frick? Can you not just push her from that fucking ledge? I would have after seeing that face. Holy crap. You know what that makes me think of? It's like. You know, no one. A guy has a girlfriend that he has to listen to, otherwise, she just, she just needs to. Or a mother that just needs to give、uh, her children like a death stare so that they do what, they, what she wants. Like. エレンとジークを助けてください。信じていますよ。ところで何なのこの鉄パイプ。大巨人ライフルだ。よほど同じのシーンを捉えない限り、巨人を殺すのは困難らしいがな。出てきた。もう地上機能みじゃないか。これじ
children can sometimes learn faster than adults can. Well, it's not even interesting. It's like, I almost want to say natural because children's brains are still developing. So there's, they're not set in their ways. It's easier to accept new information and adapt accordingly. That's why I'm less forgiving, I think, when it comes to uh, adults doing bad things than children. I mean, that's why kids don't get sent to prison, to the same prisons as adults, right? Um, but yeah, that's a, a, a longer, deeper conversation. Maybe not for now. Me and Ben. レベリオの襲撃に加担してあげる。病院の傷員軍人がエレンイエーガーだと知らずに手紙を苦いのボストから彼の仲間に送り続けてレベリオで大勢殺されただからウドとゾフィアも俺のせいで死んだそうあとお
the king, for example, who felt guilty, the king, when there was the war and he felt guilty and he went away to punish his own people. Um, to me, that's not taking responsibility. It, it was more like running away. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not mentioning, I'm not pointing at any fingers here. I just mean like in general, this whole story and our world, if the adult, if adults were more willing to take responsibility, instead of continually pointing fingers and place, blame placing and arguing, um, yeah, the world would be a much better place. もう少しで俺たちの夢が叶う。もう少しで。俺は。初期の巨人。そんなところでやられたのか。ピークちゃん。やったぞ。左手で中止を務めた。ようやく追いついたと思ったんだが、誰が仕留めた。お前らがやった
So I'm still I'm I'm still gonna have my opinions on right and wrong. And uh, what what's really important to me is is um. Like back in season two. To me, Reiner was wrong, but at the very least, you can say that he was literally out of his mind. So in the real world. Let's say you murder someone. If you can plead insanity, I think you get a lesser sentence. I'm not sure how that works, but I, maybe not with murder, but many crimes. If you can plead insanity and prove it, um, that is taken into account and you are tried differently than someone who murdered with cold blood. So there's different degrees of murder, right? You get first degree, second degree, and in some places, third degree murder is also a possibility. Um, so Reiner re later realized like he because of he kind of like his mind kind of got torn in two and I think when he got taken out of the situation he was able to look at these torn pieces and see the whole and then he kind of became more whole but at the same time uh, that was like a heavy weight of responsibility and guilt and from then on what I really like and appreciate about his character and why his development is, is for me at the moment, I, I think the best in the show, is because he doesn't just acknowledge that what he did was wrong, he actually acts differently, he thinks differently. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, it's not enough to know what you're doing is wrong. You have to act accordingly. Um, so right now, Aaron is kind of where Reiner was in season two where, for me, this is from my perspective, uh, where I don't like what he's doing and it doesn't matter to me what the reason is because in this moment, he's killing people that don't deserve to be killed, you know? They, Aaron's mother was killed, thousands of people were killed. So to me, in that moment, it doesn't matter if you're insane, you need to be stopped. And then afterwards, the growth, blah, 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 that makes a difference. Aaron right now is is in the position where he's doing things that I don't agree with. And obviously, if you agree with it, that's fine. Um, it's just a fictional show after all. Uh, but whether it's Reiner doing bad stuff or Aaron doing bad stuff, because back in season two, I was shouting, go Aaron, fight Reiner. And now I'm being like, go Reiner, stop Aaron. <laughs> so you understand my point? Like, I'm, I, I'm not... How do I say this? People, the people from season two that were cheering me on for, for not agreeing with Reiner um, or not sympathizing with him are the same people now that are angry, angry that I'm applying, applying my same process or logic from there to here. They want me... Uh, I don't know. It's very difficult to talk to those people. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is just my theory though that the ending song is um a the ending song is a is from Aaron's perspective and if that's true then what I think the ending spoils is I'm more sure that the ending spoils that because Rainbow Flames and then if you look very briefly if you can just score on the right i mean stop on the pause on the right jesus if you can just pause on the right moment mm. i don't know it's just kind of like you know how he wants to be a bird like look here this bird this bird that he sings, he sings about. Where is it? It was there. Wait, wait, wait. Look there. See that rainbow colors? That's what he turns into at the end. He gets, he gets burned and floats away. Like that is, that is, is clear what that's, clear what that spoils. So I feel like if this is what people were worried about me being spoiled on from the opening, consider the ending having spoiled me too. <laughs> because that is, at this point, my theory. 
And I'm like 95, 90% sure that because he turns into the bird. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But if it's something different or if it's... My mods will tell me. Otherwise, I think I should just watch the opening because I don't like not having seen the opening. Is there a preview? I know people don't watch me, want me to watch the preview because they say that spoils too, but I've always watched the previews and I want to watch the previews, so I'll watch the previews. The Beast and Founder. In pursuit of the two titans that hold the key to the whole situation, people keep on fighting. What lies beyond the path the brothers took? Two brothers, and that could refer to both Zeke and uh, Aaron, and the those two at the end there, um, Falco and his brother. But he's gonna, he's like, like I said, he's like a cockroach. You can't just kill him like that. You have to like. <laughs> um, sorry, that's a bit cruel, but cockroaches don't die easy. That's all I know about them. And they can fly, some of them. That is horrifying. Uh, so, yeah, I will talk about the rest in uh, the review part. And um, so that my mic can start editing this. Please make sure to listen to my review. Um, because a lot of people I've noticed try and make assumptions based on my facial expressions. And then they put words in my mouth. And I don't like that. So if you're going to say things about me that I never said uh, or it's clear that you like you don't have to listen to my opinion but then pl or to my to my review and my thoughts but then please make it clear in the in the in the comment section that based on my reaction or um or just comment on the episode itself but but don't talk like you know me if you've clearly not heard it or you're not willing to listen to anything that I say. That's all I'm asking. If, you're, if, if you would be so kind as to not put words in my mouth, I would really appreciate that. Okay, so uh, I'll see you guys next week for the two brothers. Or, well, I'll see you in the review part if you want to watch that. Bye!